Hello and welcome to a Tavi Bricked Productions video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Lego Ninjago Ninja Suit collection. Now this is not every Ninja Suit in the world, but this is what I have and I will be showing it to you. So I hope you enjoy this video and have a great day. I have probably doubled my Ninja Suit collection since last video, so I really hope that you enjoy this one. Now just to say something before I get started, some of these characters will be modified or be missing a couple of pieces, but that's only the rare few. So let's get on to the Pilot Ninja. Now the Pilot Ninja look really, really good in my opinion, and they're so nostalgic to me. Now I really like um, the new pink ninja that we got this year, and one thing that I noticed about it is that the emblem Zane's emblem is way bigger on the pink ninja than the original one, but um, that's, that's fine with me, I don't really mind that much, I'm just happy that we got a um, Zane pink robe, but yeah, that was really good. Now, these are all the original faces, except from that one, of course. Um, I'll just take them off so you can see, there's the original um, J face, the original Kai face, the original Cole face, the original Zane face, and then the new um, Zane face in yellow. And that does have an alternate expression, which just looks ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, let's get on to the next ninja suits. Here are my ZX ninja suits. Now these are probably the most unfinished ninja in here, definitely by the by a long shot because I'm missing their mask and their armor, but I don't really mind at all. So yeah, they look really good and these were a great new set of ninja because they really looked quite different from each other. Whereas in the pilots in season one, um, their robes looked very similar to each other, but now they've moved away from that and they all look quite different. So that's really good. Um, so here we have, um, Lloyd's original face, which looks really great in my opinion. Um, and I didn't really get many of those faces back in the day because Lloyd was quite hard to get. And then everyone else just has their same faces as before, so I'm not gonna show that off. Um, I'm gonna show you the back of the ninja right here. They all have a different emblem, their um, original emblem, which looks really good. Kai has his, then Lloyd, then Zane then Jay, then Cole. And they also do have some great printing on the back as well. Here we have the season four suits. So here we can see my collection of the suits. Now you might be realizing something, but these suits at the back, I'm missing their hoods. One day I will probably get them, hopefully soon, but these four are all complete here and so is the Zane. You might be thinking, well that Zane doesn't have the symbol on his helmet. That is because this is came in the magazine, which was really great. Now these four ninja at the front all look really good, all um, like the pilot ninja because they all have the same robes, just a bit different um, in the coloring and have a different symbols. But yeah, look really good these suits. And then on the back, I'll, um, just be able to show you, they have their markings as well, they have all their suits um, marking. And then Zane has a really different marking at the back, or should I say symbol, I mean. Um, now that symbol looks really awesome. And then I just want to show um, the back of these ninjas. Um, they have little printing like that on the back, which makes them look really good as well. They all have the same face prints as before, um, but Zayn does have a new face print because he was made silver, which looks really good. And then um, we've also got that face print on the back. So yeah, that is season four. Here we are with the ninja suits from season five, the Possession Deepstone suits. Now I'm not gonna lie, these are my favorite suits. They look so unified and color coordinated and just look really great in my opinion. Now we do have the same facial printing as before, but we have a new ninja. So here we have Nia. 
Now Nia looks really great. I wish that they had made um, her suit black with these red tints, but I don't mind. It looks really great anyway. Now Nia just came with a generic female face, which I did not like, so I gave her this one. I think it looks a bit closer to Nia, but doesn't look bang on, but it's okay. Now behind here we have the Samurai X from the season as well, which looks really great. Now um, she does have a Nia face, which looks amazing. Um, this is the first Nia face that I got. And then on the back we do have the Samurai X printing, which looks really great as well. Now I've got Ronin here. I know that he wasn't shown on the screen earlier, but I really like this figure and I just wanted to include him here. I count him as a ninja in the season. Well, not really a ninja, but like a side character which helps out the ninja and also betrays the ninja. But yeah, he's a really great figure as well. And I'll just put him back over there. Now we have Sensei Wu here, which looks really great as well. He has great printing all around and a little emblem on the back. And then we do have Miss Sako here as well, which looks really great. And she does have printing on the back. Um, very similar facial prints. I didn't see why they needed to do a different one on the back because they are very similar. But yeah, anyway, it's okay. Now let's look at the ninja from the back. So these ninja all have emblems as well. They have one there. Kai has an emblem there. Jay has an emblem there. Cole has an emblem there. And so does Nia. Nia gets a little water wave or something which looks really great. And then she's got no emblem on the back on here because she hasn't become a ninja yet. So yeah, all these figures look really great. Now on to the next suits. So here is the day of the departed ninja suits. Now these ones are really good as well, um, all unified and all coloured differently, which looks really good on them. They all do have their emblem on as well, um, which is kind of a flashback to the start of Ninjago, which looks really good. And then they do all have the printing on the back. Um, it slightly changes for each ninja, but it is kind of detail quite similar to each other. I might take a head off Jay so you can see what the basic what basically it looks like. There we go. And then there is a different pattern. So I believe that's the pattern for Jay, Cole, um, Lloyd, and then there's a different pattern for the rest of the ninja which I'll just get on to. So Zane has that pattern. Mia has that pattern. Kai has that pattern. Now they do all come with new faces in this set. Cole has the major change. He has the scar across his head, which looks really good. And then we do have an angry expression at the back. Jay has an upset face and a smiley face. Zane has a crack in his head. Lloyd has a new face, and then Kai just has his generic face, and then Nia just came with a generic female face, so I gave her her Lego Movie uh, face because I think it looked better. And there we go, Day of the Departed Ninja. So here we have my Hands of Time figures. I didn't get many from this season, but I got a few, so I wanted to show them here. So first off, we have Cole. And then he does come with an emblem on the back and he does have great printing all around. One thing to note about these characters is they all have black arms, which was kind of cool. Another coal with a scar, uh, same head printing as last time. And then we get onto Kai here. Kai looks really good. Um, yeah, he, he looks really good. And you may have already noticed that he has flame eyes, which looks really good. He's got like the power of fire in his eyes, which looks really good. And then again, down there we have an emblem. Same with Nia, same, same with Zane. 
Now, Nia, they did make one with um, water eyes or just like blue eyes, but I did not pick that one up. I picked this one up um, back in 2017, was it? And then she just comes with a normal female expression. I don't know if that's the one that came in the set, but um, that's the one that ended up on my figure. And then Zane has um, silver printing, which looks really good, silver and white. Uh, again, with the crack in the head. Here we have my Sons of Garmadon suits. Now these suits look really good and it was the first time that we ever got the ninja in the show with these new faces and new designs which looks really good. You might be thinking why has Kai not got an emblem? That's because it's a magazine exclusive which didn't come with an emblem. I don't know why they didn't put um, an emblem on him because it would cost like the tiniest, tiniest amount just to print that on. But I mean, it's okay. They did come with these um, with these katana holders, which look really good. And then with these newish um, ninja head wraps. Now, this first time seeing that face um, in the Ninjago TV show, at least. And then we have a grumpy face as well. And then we have a Lloyd with a um, angry face. And then a happy face. And then we have a smiley coal and a frowny coal. As you can see, I didn't get many suits for Hunted and for Sons of Garmadon because that's when I was really trying to get back into Ninjago, but I didn't really have enough money to buy the sets because I was buying other stuff. But yeah, here are the Hunted suits. Now these ones look really cool as well. We did get a Master Wu, uh, Golden Master Wu, and then just a normal clothed Master Wu. Um, he does have two facial printings. He has one on the back here, which is a grumpy one, uh, which looks really great as well. And then he does have some printing on the back. So does uh, Lloyd and so does Jay. Now, uh, the Jay face, this is the first time I'm showing this new Jay's face in this video. We have a um, grumpy or upset face. And then we have a comical uh, happy face. So yeah, that is Hunted. Here we have the Mark to the Only Ninja. Now, I did complete this full set of Ninja and they look all really good. This was one of the first series that I ever completed and then I went back and got some of the older figures. Now these ones look really good and I love how they are, are legacy suits and they all have little references to the past and everything. They do all come with the faces that I've shown before, but um, I decided to put that yellow face on Zane because I just had it lying about, so I put that there. And then Nia, we do have a face there where she's uh, smirking and then more of an angry face or annoyed face there. They all do have emblems again on the back, which look really good. And yeah, I really like these figures. Here we have the Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu Ninja. Now these ones look really great as well. And we do have some printing on the masks, which looks really good. Now, um, here we all have the same face prints that I've shown before, except from Zane. I haven't shown this face print off in the video yet. Um, and yeah, it's a super angry Zane, which looks really good. And um, I put it on that figure because it looks great. Now, they do have printing on the back as well. It's very simple, uh, but it does look really good. They all do have great printing all around as well, which looks really great. And um, my favourite figure from this season is probably Zane. He just looks the best, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, that is Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu Ninja Suits. So here we have the Forbidden Spinjitzu Ninja. Now these ones look amazing and definitely in my top three of the ninja suits. They look incredible and I just love them so much. Cole never had um, a Forbidden Spinjitzu suit, so I made my own and I personally think it fits pretty well. But yeah, 
I don't know why they never gave him one. Um, my favourite of the bunch is probably Zane. Um, I don't know why. Like I said earlier, he just looks the best. I did give him this um, electric arm or ice arm that wasn't original in the figure, but I like it a bit. Um, now, they do have printing on the back, which looks really good. Just wish that they made a coal figure, but they never did. Um, and then they do all have amazing face printing there. Um, and then it does come with a generic Zane smile. So these figures, these faces for these figures work in so many different places. They just all look super great. So they all have generic smiling faces, which looks really good. And it's kind of weird that they have them on this figure, but I mean, it works and it looks really good. And then they all have their, um, like, Fobin Spinjitsu face, which looks great as well. So here we have the Avatar Ninja. Now you might be noticing two things here. That is not an Avatar Ninja, that is Golden Zane, um, which never actually appeared in um, Prime Empire, sadly. But yeah, it does look really good. And then Cole is not his Avatar form, but his Legacy suit, which I just like it so much more than the official Avatar suit. I think the Avatar suit that they gave Cole was rubbish and it never even appeared in the show. Um, so I just used this one instead. I'm sorry for those people that would have liked to see Rocky Danger buff in this, but I just I just don't like that suit. But these suits, like, I've been saying this a lot in this video, but these suits look absolutely amazing. Jay is probably the best, then Kai, then Lloyd. But yeah, they, they all look great. Nia is very generic, like the um, Rocky Danger buff. I can't really give her a different suit. Um, unlike Cole, but yeah, they look really great. The Zane looks really great as well. Um, they, not none of them have other facial printing, which we haven't seen before, um, except from these three. These two uh, have new facial printing, and so does this one, but this one has double face printing, which looks really great as well. Now on to the final suits. Now here we have the Prime Empire suits. Now I did have to make my own custom Zane one because he never went into the Prime Empire and never got a suit. But yeah, these ones look really great in my opinion. Um, now my favorite is probably Cole. Um, just because I put on the um, RX arms, which make his suit look really cool. Now they all do come with new facial expressions with these visors. And then um, underneath, you can see their mouths. So they all do have a bit of a grumpy face um, or an angry face. And then here we do have some generic smiling faces. And then we do have a Kai shocked face, which looks really good, in my opinion. And there we go. There are the Prime Empire suits and all the suits that I own. Here is my complete ninja suit collection. Now I need to give some honourable mentions to some of the ninja here. Now I didn't show off my movie Lloyd or my movie Wu because I didn't have enough movie figures to really show them off and I didn't want to just show them by themselves. And then I do have the odd figure from uh, season 6 and I only have Kai from season 6 so I couldn't really include him. And I did have one or two figures from uh, other series. So yeah, this is my complete Ninja Suit collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you remember to like, comment and subscribe. And have a great day.